Your spirit is not letting emotions dictate what it says or does. Okay? Out of your belly flow rivers of living water. We know the scripture, right? And out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Now notice, out of your belly, that's talking about the spirit, will come out of your belly, out of your spirit. The spirit of God comes out of your spirit. But now notice, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you can have spirit life coming out of your belly, but out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth will speak. So your heart, your, that's your soul. That is where your soul, your body, your spirit all come together and connect. That what is in abundance. Notice not just what's there. What's there in abundance. If it comes out of your mouth, you're full of it. <laughs> just seeing if you're listening. <laughs> Literally, that's right. Why? Because it has to come out of the abundance. Now, trying to finish up here. <clears throat> so don't let outside forces... People, situations, your own body. Remember, your body is the outer court. It's the outside source. Don't let people, situations, or your own body determine your emotions and therefore your words and beliefs. Don't let how you feel, body and soul, determine how you respond to the feeling. That's self-control. It's out of the spirit. Let what is in you out. Now, that's only good if you're born again. If you're not born again, keep what's in you. Okay? Now, but let what is in you out. Let the word of God and his spirit determine what comes out of your mouth and let it determine how you feel about the situation. Your filter is the new covenant. What God, now understand, when I say it's a new covenant, your filter is what God says about you. Right? Right? What God says about you should determine what you say about you. Not what your body says about you. Not what your soul says about you, but what your spirit says. And whenever your spirit, when you go by what your spirit says about you, which is what God says about you, and you start saying what God has said about you, it will change how your soul feels and it will change how your body acts. Right? Now, he said, now this is if you... First off, he said for you to make Jesus Lord. And if you did that, then you can, you can go along with this. But he said you're saved. Is that right? Now, if you agree with him and say you're saved and make Jesus Lord, and therefore you're saved, are you saved? All right. Now, he said, now understand, that's a spiritual function. He said it, you believe it, and the result was you got born again. Is that right? Now, when, when, before you were born again, did you act born again? No. And if you did, it's because you were trying to impress people and make people think good about you. But the real you was hiding under there, and when you weren't around people, the real you came out. Right? Why? Because he doesn't stay in there long. He wants expression. Right? But now, so if, now think about this. You accept the fact that God made a spiritual statement You agree with that spiritual statement and it changed your eternal destiny and now you're a different person. Is that correct? Then what makes you think that when God said by his stripes you were healed, that 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 is only proven true when your body feels like it? Because when you made Jesus Lord, I guarantee you, your body still wanted to sin. Why? Because it was trained to sin. And I got news for you. Your body and your soul is trained to be sick. Watch, don't watch TV, but I'm saying if you do, you'll know I'm telling you the truth because every five seconds there's a commercial about a, some type of pill or something, medicine you need, and they're training you to think sick. And they've turned these ideas into now sicknesses. And so if you can believe the word of God and get born again, you can believe the word of God and agree with God, because you agreed with God that you were saved way before you were probably acting saved. Is that right? And sometimes you had to tune out what people said about it. I thought you was a Christian. And you had to tune that out, or you'd have went right back to how you used to live. Why? Just because you messed up. Right? But if you can do that with salvation, which is the biggest deal, then why can't you do that with healing for your physical body? So you have to believe the spiritual truth will have an effect on your physical body. Amen? If you don't believe that, 
then you don't believe the Bible because the Bible says that when you get born again, eventually someday, and if you're here long enough and you pass away and you're buried or whatever it is, that at some point you're going to get resurrected. So your salvation has to do with the future condition of your body. And if you're going to believe you're saved and that's going to affect your body, then bless God, you can believe you're healed and it'll have effect on your body. 